Welcome to this week's edition of the Best Run News Show. I'm your host, Jam Jam. Let's get right into the top running stories of the past week. In this week's show, we look into the blue jeans mile, new standards for the 2020 U.S. Olympic marathon trials, and one world record hopeful runs over 500 miles on a treadmill for absolutely nothing. We begin this week with a story about two runners attempting something not many have accomplished in their careers. No, not a 100 mile training week. Try doubling that. Zach Coog and Ethan Wilhelm, both amateur runners, have logged a few 100 mile weeks in their days as former collegiates, but are looking for something new to challenge themselves with. They're both taking on the hashtag SitWitsRun200 quest to complete 200 miles of running in a seven day time span. They're currently logging miles and you can track them on Strava and on Sidious Mag's Instagram page. We'll check back in next week with the results. A craze is sweeping the track running scene and even spilling over into road racing with the Blue Jeans Mile. Never heard of it? Me neither until recently. It's pretty simple. Pull up a pair of your favorite jean britches and throw down on four quarter miles around the local track. How fast can you run one? Hashtag it, Blue Jeans Mile, and share your time. Let's recap the current fastest times. By the way, if you think you've got a sub four minute mile in you while wearing full length jeans, Video it, and Paul Snyder will send you a cool 1200 bucks. Ladies, you've only got to hit 4 minutes 36 seconds to claim the prize. Moving up in distance, Colin or at C-O-L-I-N on Twitter claims a 1705 track 5K, while in jeans, and Tony Mizagoni apparently has done a 69 minute 24 second half marathon. Dang, is that flannel, son? With marijuana laws laxing around the country and recreational use booming, across several legal states, it is only a matter of time until getting high and running collide. But how will this impact anti-doping measures as currently, competing while high will land you with a dirty mark on a drug test? Katie O'Reilly, in a recent Runner's World article, tried to mix running and toking up, but just couldn't get the runner's high she was looking for. And further, that what she is calling can athletics is just not for her. It has already been a decade since Alan Webb broke the American record in the mile in Belgium. He ran a 3 minute 46 second mile, which coincidentally has not been broken since. That's fast. Any guesses on who might lower the mark? Thinking about snagging a qualifier for the 2020 Olympic Trials Marathon? The men's and women's B standards remains the same as 2016 at 2 hours 19 minutes for the men and 2 hours 45 minutes for the ladies. What is different this year is the half marathon B standards have both been tightened up. The men will now have to run a 104 half, which is one minute faster, and the ladies a 113, which is two minutes faster. This could effectively push some of the on the fence runners up to the marathon distance for qualification. The qualifying window opens September 1st of this year for marathon times and September 1st, 2018 for the half. Ricky Gates, trail and ultra marathon runner, just completed a 4,000 mile run across the entire country, wrapping up in San Francisco earlier this week. Ricky dropped some wisdom from his experience accumulating all these miles by saying that he still respects the shorter distance, especially when one really gets after it. He was quoted as saying that even the mile is every bit as difficult as 100 if you apply yourself to it. We periodically like to touch on the subject of doping and clean sport. This week, Kara Goucher announced she is heading all the way to London to receive an upgraded silver medal from the IAAF World Championships way back in 2007. Damn dopes. Almost too little too late when these cheats take away from deserving athletes. Glad to see Kara getting her upgrade, but who's going to pay for the missed sponsorship dollars? Remember that secretive Nike shoe designed just for the breaking two athletes trying to go sub two hours in the marathon? Well, the Zoom Vaporfly 4%, which was available, is completely sold out at runningwarehouse.com with no indication of when it will be back in stock. Ever thought about setting a world record for running? Amy Hughes thought so and decided that she would go after the most miles run on a treadmill in one week. So she set up a treadmill at a local shopping center and went to town racking up over 520 miles by the end of seven days. Only problem, she didn't have sufficient witnesses to meet the Guinness Book of World Records standards. Ouch. Thanks for checking out the show, and if you have a story to share, tweet at me or dip into my Instagram DMs. Wink, wink. As always, 
get some damn running in, and we'll see you next week.